I think I hear jamming. Jamming! What you doing? Um, drugs? Don't mind that, uh, I was I was working on a personal project, nothing special. Yeah, sure. But that aside, it's time for a good old copycat Friday! Ugh. It feels good to be back. Now I'm sure you've all heard about Jane's popular song Makiba. It's currently making waves on TikTok and rightfully so. But did you know that Jane's music videos are packed with super cool special effects? We have actually recreated quite a few of them. And today we'll be showing you how to create five effects inspired by the amazing Makiba music video. And let's not waste any more time because I still need a lot of practicing for my TikTok dances. The first effect we're going to create is the mesmerizing endless travel effect. Now the key to achieve Achieving this effect lies in the shooting process. I'll be using three shots to create the illusion of the endless travel, but feel free to use as many shots as you want. The main principle of the effect is to start each shot from the same point and then move the camera towards the subject, which is positioned further down the road. To ensure smooth movement, I'm using a gimbal and a skateboard. It's crucial to keep your subject framed in the middle and as steady as possible to make the effect much easier. Repeat this process for subsequent shots, gradually moving your subject away from the camera. Now to make the transition between shots seamless, we need an object to travel through. In Jane's video, she uses a large plate, so I'll be doing the same. To simplify things, you can use a green screen tape to the plate, or if you're hardcore, tracking markers. You got to be a hardcore crazy. Remember to place the tracking markers close together and towards the center of the plate. Otherwise, they may disappear when the camera gets too close, making tracking nearly impossible. Once you have all the shots that you need, it's time to dive into After Effects. First, let's sync the clips, key out the green, and you'll have your endless travel effect. If your shots are a little bit too shaky, don't worry, the warp stabilizer function is here to save the day. And if you didn't use any green shapes, you'll need to track a shape layer to your footage and use it as a track mat to create a hole. And voila, the first effect is complete. Now let's move on to the second effect, the dancing building effect. Unfortunately, I don't have access to tall buildings, nor do I fancy risking my life on the edge of one. So I turn to our sponsor Storyblocks and their amazing collection of city aerial shots. With their new plugin for After Effects and Premiere Pro, I have a vast library of high quality royalty free stock assets right at my fingertips. No more switching between software and browsers or endlessly searching for lost clips. Here I find the perfect city shot and now we can get started on the effect. First, I place my shot in the timeline, then I select the building I want to animate. Let's go with this one in the front. I duplicate the shot twice. On the top layer, I create a mask around the building to remove it completely. On the middle layer, I create a mask to isolate only the building itself. And now, let's animate that building. We'll focus on adjusting its position up and down to create the desired effect. To save time and practice more TikTok dances, I'll use an expression to automate the animation. I'll create a simple up and down movement for the building and apply a loop out expression to repeat it seamlessly without additional effort. As you can see, the building is animated, but it's also still standing there. We need to remove it completely. And how do we do that? With the help of AI, of course. I took a still from the city and used the generative fill option from Photoshop Beta to remove the building. Now, all that is left is to add the empty layer to After Effects. And look at that, the buildings are dancing. Now imagine all the possibilities with the different city shots. Thanks to Storyblocks' unlimited downloads, you can create these amazing dancing building effects and so much more. And here's something I'm incredibly proud of. My very own landing page. It's bursting with authentic Cinecom footage from travel videos to car crashes, muzzle flashes and other jaw-dropping assets. All ready for you to use. Most of these clips are shot in lock, giving you full control when it comes to color grading. Unlike other stock websites that charge exuberant prices per clip, Storyblocks offers an unlimited library at a fixed monthly or annual price, with no hidden costs. I've been using Storyblocks for years now, and I can't recommend it enough to all the creative minds out there. So take back creative control with Storyblocks' unlimited royalty-free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash cinecom or simply click the first link in the description below. Hey Janik, did you go viral yet? No Timo, I still haven't gone viral yet.
yet. But maybe the next effect will do the trick. The balloon cloning effect from Makeba. Now the shooting process plays a crucial role once again. Make sure the camera is on a tripod and rolling throughout the entire effect. Also keep the lighting consistent to ensure seamless blending in After Effects. As for the acting part, it's simple. Stand in different spots in the environment and make the balloons explode. To make it easier, try not to overlap each clone, but if you're hardcore, go ahead and stand wherever you want. Wow. It's hardcore. Now let's dive into After Effects. First I place our main shot in the timeline. Then I add a clone clip on top and create a rough mask to single out the clone. Easy right? Now comes the fun part, the balloon explosions. I'll make a cut on the exact moment a balloon explodes and the clip to the right of the cut can be duplicated. On the top duplicate I'll rotoscope the actual balloon shreds falling to the floor and on the bottom duplicate it's time for me to explode too. In the original video Jane simply disappears with some smoke but that's boring. I want to explode. I create a freeze frame, rotoscope myself out and add a CC starburst effect to the clip. With this effect I'm creating a scatter effect. You can adjust the settings to your preference. Next I use the UID saturation effect to match my color with the balloon I'm holding. Next I apply the roughen edges and the CC vector blur effect to transform the starburst into a realistic shred. And of course add a smoke wisp from Storyblocks to complete the explosive transformation. Repeat this process for each clone and voila, a cool cloning effect. Alright, moving on to effect number 4. For this one, all we need is a simple tripod shot of some cooling towers. Unfortunately, there aren't any towers where I live since they were destroyed a while ago. So I turned to the trusty Photoshop AI to create some towers for me. I even asked for some graffiti, but it seems Photoshop isn't the real artist. To start, I isolate the tower and immediately duplicate it. Using the UN saturation effect, I make one tower blue and the other one red. Now I want the colors to switch dynamically. To achieve this, I'll use a shape layer as a track mat for one of the towers. I will also animate the pad of the shape making it move downward. But the linear movement is too boring so let's add some randomness to it. I'll add a slider effect to the shape layer and apply an expression to the pad animation called value at time. The value within the brackets will be our slider value. In simpler terms this expression will use specific values from the pad animation at certain times based on the slider value. To add even more variation I'll animate the slider from 0 to 10 and apply a wiggle expression to introduce randomness. And there you have it, look at those colors dance! They are better than me. Stupid Timo always interrupting us. How am I supposed to be the next Charlie D'Amelio if nobody supports me? Anyways, let me show you the final effect, the interactive basketball motion effect. Once again, we'll need a tripod shot from a high angle focused on the basketball player. They can show off their moves and yeah, I know I'm not that good. But okay, I placed my shot into After Effects and duplicate it two times. For the top layer I'll perform a complete rotoscope of my subject and the ball. This will allow me to create an overlay and place elements behind them. If you are interested in mastering the art of rotoscoping, I've got a link for you in the description below. Once my subject is cut out, it's time to create a circle on the floor. To achieve this I use a simple ellipse shape layer which I convert to 3D and position around the subject's feet. On this shape layer I add a fastbox blur effect to slightly soften the edges and a turbulent noise effect to give it a grungy look. Now comes the exciting part. I can use this ellipse layer as a track mat for the middle duplicate layer. But wait, nothing seems to be happening. No worries, I'll apply a UN saturation effect to the middle clip and customize its color to my liking. And voila, now we have a cool circle that can be animated in what way we want. And the best part, we can keep on adding circles if you want. And there you have it, 5 super cool effects from the viral TikTok song Makiba inside After Effects. But if you are still struggling with the basics of After Effects, I highly recommend enrolling in my After Effects for Beginners course. It's an incredible opportunity to level up your skills and explore the world of VFX and motion design. Just click on the link in the description to join me there. And now it's time for me to go practice some more dances. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support and as always, stay creative.